release the chicken. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Steven with Break Free Homestead. Today, we're gonna go over whether you need to cover your chicken run or not. Do you need to? Do you not need? Let's weigh the options and see what you should do. I'm gonna go ahead and say real fast, the short answer is you do not need to cover your chicken run. Now, there's multiple things to think about. If you guys would, real quick, please consider dropping down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. We provide new content twice a week as we grow our homestead and we want you to break free with us. Make sure you hit the bell notifications, that way you're notified when we post a new video. Just because you're not covering it, doesn't mean you don't need to protect them, okay? Difference between coverage and protection. So here, we have protection. We've used chicken wire to cover the top of the coop. So I've been free ranging them and they're they are waiting patiently for me to let them out. Um, kind of just kept them in here for this video, but they want to come out and play. We don't always keep them in the run, but it's always good to have a run just in case you need to keep the, all of them or some of them in for specific reasons. You know, sometimes you could be getting more pressure from predators and it's good to have a run. Other times you won't have predators for months and uh, you know, free ranging the benefits are amazing. So why not, you know, take advantage of that. So what are your options, right? You come into roofing, it's gonna cost you significantly more if you were to do corrugated roofing, just like on the shelter, all the way down here. So that's probably one main reason people don't cover their coops and why we didn't. You know, we just didn't see the, the cost versus reward benefit um, to be that high, so we didn't. You know, I've always, I've always thought about covering it and it's still something we consider. Um, and probably will do. Look at these chickens, they're running up here. They must have found some food from yesterday. These ones are just stragglers. So in the run, right now, it is frozen. Nice and clean. But when this gets wet, it is absolutely disgusting. I have these stones here so we can step in um, and we wouldn't slide all around. It, it is gross, I'm telling you. You're gonna be struggling. You're gonna struggle to manage it. And you're gonna be searching YouTube how to figure out how to clean out a mucky run. It's just, it's bad. So, I mean, if you do cover it, it's a significant um, thing that you won't have to deal with anymore. So just consider that. If you haven't seen our video, we'll drop it up here. I put 10 things I would change in building this coop. And one of this, this would probably be closer to the entrance and the main access door for us would not be in the run. So a couple things, check that video out. Hopefully it helps you um, learn from other people's mistakes and what they're building. I wish I would have looked more into, you know, the same type of thing and it probably would have helped me out and change my design a little bit. Another option you could try, I haven't tried it myself, so don't hold me to it, uh, but you could like kind of make a tent uh, wood frame almost or a, uh, you could probably use PVC and like a vinyl plastic and just try to shed the snow or water off um, as more of a temporary solution. Obviously that's gonna degrade over time. So just keep that in mind. You're probably gonna be replacing vinyl 